I want to talk briefly about a nomination that's coming before us this week, uh, and this is for Elaine Duke to be the Deputy Homeland Security Secretary. This is an incredibly important job. Some of you remember the Homeland Security Department was made up of about 23 different departments and agencies coming together, a huge management challenge, and the job of Deputy Secretary is the key job to try to manage all that. Uh, we're very fortunate that Elaine Duke is willing to step forward and take on this responsibility. My hope is that we'll get a bipartisan vote here on the floor of the Senate for her confirmation, and that we do it quickly this week because they need her there. She came before our Committee of Homeland Security uh, and Governmental Affairs last month. We had a very productive hearing. I had the honor of introducing her to the committee uh, because she has Ohio roots. Uh, we're very proud of those Ohio roots. Uh, she has a long, distinguished career all across the country in the federal government, but she still calls Ohio home, and much of her family continues to reside in Ohio. Uh, her dad, Frank Costanzo, is a first-generation uh, American, still lives in Cleveland, Ohio. I've also known her uncle, Dominic Costanzo, for uh, over 25 years. Uh, he's a friend and a neighbor, and boy, he's very proud of uh, his niece, as is her whole family. This family instilled in her a Midwestern work ethics that you see in her great work she has done uh, in the federal government over the past uh, really 28 years as she's worked as a senior member of uh, various administrations. Uh, we're really fortunate that she is willing to now continue to serve. She started her career as a GS-7 contract specialist for the U.S. Air Force. And over the next 28 years, she assumed bigger and bigger responsibilities at the Air Force, the Navy, the Federal Railroad Administration, the Smithsonian, and finally, the Department of Homeland Security. In 2008, she was confirmed unanimously by this Senate to serve as the Undersecretary for Management at DHS. And in this latest role, she was, of course, was a key member of the DHS, DHS leadership team for uh, a number of secretaries, Secretary Chertoff, Secretary Napolitano, uh, and they strongly support her. She's earned a reputation for being an expert on acquisitions, on procurement, on property management, organizational change, human resources. All of these, as I said earlier, are key issues right now at the Department of Homeland Security so that it can be managed better to be able to protect all of us. And serving in these administrations, Republican and Democrat, she did earn the respect of folks from both sides of the aisle. Uh, I found it interesting that all five previously confirmed DHS deputy secretaries have unanimously and strongly recommended her confirmation, all five of the previously confirmed ones. Uh, they said in their letter that, quote, Elaine is extraordinarily well qualified to serve in the position for which she's been nominated. She knows DHS. She's been a senior leader at DHS under two presidents. She set an unwavering standard of excellence for all those who consider themselves committed to public service, end quote. So, Mr. President, uh, I look forward to having this vote. And uh, I hope we'll have a resounding support on a bipartisan basis for the nomination. Secretary Kelly is doing a good job. General Kelly has uh, got an incredibly distinguished career. and We're fortunate that he has stepped up as secretary also. But he needs her. He needs this deputy in place to help him run this department. And the men and women serving the DHS today need her on the job. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield back my time.